Uh, I can offer first what I feel, what I'm probably ex really excited about, but I want to hear what you're excited about. I'm wondering if I can guess what it is. What do you think? Um, well, actually, you know what? I had a guest in mind, and then I thought about it again, and then I was like, you know what? That's totally wrong. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way David would be excited for that. Um, uh, my original guess was going to be the the newly announced uh, Legend of Zelda. Yeah, definitely not on my radar. Right. But I think this is an amazing drop. Yeah. Actually, being Zelda mm -hmm. for the main character, like, why did it take him this long to do that? Hello and welcome to level one hundred and eight. Of your thoughts and players podcast, the gaming podcast with bold takes and no strings attached. I am Jeremy here with my compadre, David. What up? What up? How are you doing this evening? I am tired. How about you? I, uh, I've been, time has been escaping me today. I've been running late for almost everything. My, my appointments, late for my appointments late in thoughts just just a little bit of lag they call it lag i'm, I'm i have poor ping going on today that's what's oh, going on the worst yeah gotta up that uh gotta up that that internet <laughs> but i'll get it going <laughs> ladies and gentlemen chickens ducks and hens we welcome you in welcome you all into this level of the pod level 108 we've got some cool things to talk about excited it's all about excitement this level is all about hype I guess, and everyone loves hype. We love getting pumped up only to get let down later. We don't yeah. worry about that happening in the future. Let's not worry <laughs> about that future let down. We're going to worry about the we're going to think about the hype right now and get into it. Um, but before we do that, let's talk about the games we've been playing. Okay, um, David, you want to go first? You can, or I can offer. Yeah, I'll go. Uh, okay. It's pretty quick. Um. I've been having an issue with my computer. It keeps giving me leg spikes out of nowhere. Oh. So I can't really play anything. Like it happens even when I'm typing on like notepad or, you know, whatever. So I hmm. think I have to go send it somewhere to get it fixed. I might go to Micro Center tomorrow or something and be like, hey, hmm. something's happening. So I've just been playing that. a lot of uh, TFT because that doesn't really matter. You know, I have a lot of time to do stuff. It's not like FPS, you know, so it's not. Right instant and uh pokemon go you know mm. so that's what i've been playing nice 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 i mean not nice that you're having these crazy lag spikes you know what that's what today is today is a lag spike for me the whole day's been a lag spike uh but go. yeah i mean what did it just kind of like just start happening yeah it's actually been going on for a couple of weeks now and it's just getting worse mm. i'm not yeah. sure what it is yeah um yeah, it sucks. My, uh, I mean, you've got, I mean, again, like you've got a, a spaceship for a computer. So I exactly like, why am I having any problems? issues? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought, um, uh, there was a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was last week that my partner's brother had sent me the Mike, you mentioned micro center and they put out those email newsletters of like all the different bundles they have for your CPU and motherboard. And he had sent me some that were Intel because I've been telling them that my next bill is going to be an Intel build. Mm. Um, I like to switch off. I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a fanboy. I have an AMD rig and I have an Intel rig. When my Intel rig is old, the next one is going to be an Intel. But man, I've been spending so much money on other stuff in general. Life is expensive, mm -hmm. and I do not want to spend more money on this other stuff. But I look yep. at it and I'm like, man, it's almost like I'm <laughs> losing money if I don't spend it. You know? Yep. Yeah. But that's uh that's that's been it for you though, huh? Yeah. Unfortunately, until you get the uh. The rig going right, and then I'm assuming you're hopping right back into. Wait, now, how much Today's longer do we day. have? Today's Is it the day? day. Yeah, what? I can't even. Wow, really play. look at that, man! You know what? What if I'm not going to say it's happened, but let's just say it happened. I think Blizzard compromised your PC. I think they think I think that hater, I think that hater sent some kind of rogue agent to your computer, and they're like. Well, he can't. We can't ban him again if he's got no computer to play with. This I is think, very true. I think that's what compromising you is the hater. I think you're onto something. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, well, as far as what I've been playing, so far my computer's been doing okay. Knock on wood. Um, the game I have been playing still has been Expeditions Rome. I am about, I want to say 20, 20 for one, uh, people watching this, if you played this game before, don't judge me. I don't want anybody judging me, all right? Uh, I think I'm somewhere in the 30 hours of the game, and um, I'm about to end the first act of the game. The game has three acts. I've looked on how long to beat, and I've seen them say that the game takes about 40-some-odd hours. If I'm to piece that out, I have 30 hours of what should be 15 hours of gameplay. Um, hopefully, everything moves as swiftly as it's been moving, and I don't get dragged down to where I've put so many hours into this game that I've been thoroughly enjoying. And that really should just be the measure of value. Have you enjoyed yeah, playing this game? Should. Right? But not me, because I'm a psychopath. And I have to be able to beat these games and put them in my rearview mirror. Right? So... Hopefully, I don't have too much longer to go before I beat this game, but I've been enjoying it. Great story. Uh, really enjoying the mechanics and all that stuff. It's cool. Um, that's because, again, the game is so time intense. That's mostly been the only game I've been playing. I've played, me and my partner played a little bit of Gang Beasts. I'm not sure if you've heard. Oh, my God. That... <laughs> yeah. We played a little bit of that. Because we're also trying to find another game to play. We were going to try to play some Diablo 4. Mm -hmm. um, Diablo 4 requires you to have a Battle.net account. We didn't feel like setting up a Battle.net account at the time. I'm pretty sure I have one from a long, long time ago when I played Overwatch for a little bit. Um, so I have to figure out what it is or what it was. But mm -hmm. if not, I'll create another one, new one and we can play it some other time. But that's been it. It's been... it's been, And another one has been Expeditions Rome mostly... We played a little bit of Gang Beast, and then we played a little bit of Overcooked too. That's what we've been playing. Nice. Uh, that yeah. thirty hours is that's a lot for you for a game. Oh uh, yeah. I so mean, I think about a little clap there. I'm also th this is also where my mind goes. I think about all the other games I could have beaten those thirty hours. Yeah, but right? you're you're beating this one. I'm gonna. But here's the thing. I'm not beating it. I'm playing it. It's not beat until it's beat for me. Hey, right, I yeah. might, I might be, you know, a jack off like I did with freaking the the first Last of Us, where I play it all <laughs> until winter. I've got two or three hours left in the game, and I'm like, I can't do it no more. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bail out. I can't do it no more. You know? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully. But yeah, that's it for what I've been playing. So uh, we've got that out the way. Let's move on to these topics because there's been news afoot. And, and I think it was level 106, maybe. We briefly talked about PlayStation had their state of play, which mm -hmm. was terrible. And we just mentioned it for one or two minutes, and we briefly, we swiftly moved on to the other things we found more interesting. This one actually has more meat on it. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, the two big other, the two other big game exhibits, essentially, with Nintendo's Direct and Xbox Game Showcase. Now, Nintendo Direct came out after Xbox, but we're going to talk about Nintendo first. Um, so, Nintendo Direct, it came out. They had some things that broke that we find really exciting. I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can offer first what I feel, what I'm probably ex really excited about, but I want to hear what you're excited about. I'm wondering if I can guess what it is. What do you think? Um, well, actually, you know what? I had a guest in mind and then I thought about it again. And then I was like, you know what? That's totally wrong. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way David would be excited for that. Um, uh, my original guest was going to be the, the newly announced uh, Legend of Zelda. Yeah, definitely not on my radar, right? But I think this is an amazing drop. Yeah, actually, being Zelda mm -hmm. for the main character, like. Why did it take them this long to do that? Um, because they are they are discovering now with a lot of people that uh, women are powerful and they have value. OK, and uh, sometimes Very the true. woman can be the hero of the story. Especially when her name's in the story. Her, it, it, the, the, game, the series is named after her. It's, it's it is kind <laughs> of strange. <laughs> it, is, it is kind of strange. But. I think that's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
I haven't played it in a while, but I I do kind of want to get back into it because the ones I did play were fun, and I need to like do some sort of exercise. And you know, relating to one of our topics before, they announced uh, just Dance 24. Okay. Or 25 edition, sorry. So I might I might jump in on that and give yeah. that a go. Yeah. That's that's yeah. That 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 is that is up your alley. Yes. Yes. And this one you're probably unexpected, but I played this a lot on the N64. Torok. Yes. They're bringing Torok to Nintendo Online, right? Yeah, I saw that. I was like finally i completely forgot about that game i was like this yeah. is awesome now this is i believe this is the original turok i think a lot of people mostly know turok 2 seeds of evil but this is the original i think this is the first one they're bringing i believe so yeah so hopefully you know that's a little hint to bring dino crisis back you know one, if one, uh, certain one companies could... will listen Exactly. One can wish. One can only pray and hope that they get their bleep together and bring back one of the most underrated and at the same time overrated gaming franchises in the history of gaming. <laughs> I think it's I think it's generally underrated. I think I personally overrated, but that's just, it is what it is. Mm. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Is there any you're hyped for? So, um. Finally seeing some more stuff on Metroid on Metroid Prime 4 is pretty mm-hmm. cool. Been yep. waiting a long time for that. Finally getting the info on that. That's awesome. Um, the thing that I think we kind of, I mentioned it in the pre-talk, the thing that I'm actually strangely the most hyped for is the fact that they're bringing Stray to the Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's, an, it's awesome. N- Indies are actually pr- have been generally really fun to play on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so the the fact that they're bringing that game over is awesome. That I've I've had interest and in wanted to play that game, and I've been debating if I wanted to get it for either a system or if I wanted to get it for something like my Steam Deck or a Switch. So right. it's probably between those two now, the Steam Deck or Switch. Um, like I've said before, I Stardew Valley is when I my first really started to get into it was on the Switch, but thirty plus mm-hmm. hours into it, then put another thirty plus on the Steam Deck. Uh, so yeah, I'm really I'm really hyped for that. But I would say that the uh, Metroid Prime Four, that's a biggie. That's uh, there, there's a lot of anticipation with that. So it's cool that we got you know not a lot of information, but at least we got something. We know that it's coming out next year. We at least right. got that. You know, we got a little bit of a, a taste of it. Yeah, and I, I think it's really cool. They have the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection. Mm-hmm. I know those games were. Uh, are quite big. Yeah, they're goaded. I played them quite a bit when growing up. Yeah, great fighters. Great fighters. And then Metal Slug, isn't... Didn't we talk about that not too long ago? Metal Slug, no. We probably... We're, it, it, maybe, it, maybe it was a Metal Gear Solid. No, we, talked about. We, were, we were talking about uh, the game with a C... With the two guys uh, running around, that's the one we were I, talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh my god, why can't I? Why can't I? I, I not? Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> oh, why can't I think of it? But um, oh my god, ah, uh, this is an was, older game coming back though. Yeah, I can't think of it. It is an older game coming back. God, it's gonna freaking. That's gonna. <laughs> this me not knowing this game is gonna bug me. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, it look, it look, it's the same type of game. Oh yeah, it's a side scroller shooter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what was it? Uh, what was it two guys? I'm gonna look it up. Side side scroller shooter. Um, uh, and it's going to give me the name. It is going to give me the name. Come on, come on. And uh, Luigi Mansion Two Contra. HD Contra. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. It's cool they have a Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah, then they're bringing the they're bringing basketball to it. Yep. I mean, look, I I know they're trying to capture the magic, the literal magic of Wii Sports. They will never be able to. But uh, yeah, that, it's it's nice for putting the effort in. Yeah, like 
nothing is going to compare to the nothing. original Wii Sports coming out. Ever will. Ever will. It's pure magic. It doesn't come around. It comes around once in a lifetime. Yeah. But I mean, it, Nintendo didn't have. I mean, look, they weren't. A, there weren't a bunch of freaking. There wasn't like a split. A Splatoon five or seven, wherever the hell number there are now. It wasn't like it wasn't anything like that. But I think this new le- this new uh, Legend of Zelda game, and I think the Metroid Prime four, those are a little bit of inklings that we get of of some larger things. As they're yeah. as we're wondering here if we're going to be seeing a Switch two this year, you know, um, right? I, I think I think that's those are nice little things to nibble on. And uh, uh, I saw an article not too long ago that. They were thinking about remaking F Zero GX, or like mm. you know remastering or whatever. And I was like, mm-hmm. when I heard that Nintendo did a direct, I was like, please be on there, please be on there. And it wasn't on there, but you yeah. know, there's there's always hope. They they did. Uh, they, I think there was an HD version of Luigi, Luigi's Mansion Two. I think was announced or one there. Yeah, I mentioned that when you were looking up that. Yeah, contract. yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed that. Yeah. So that's yeah, pretty cool. So I that's played, cool. I forgot which one I played with my son a lot. Hmm. But yeah, those are fun games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nintendo did their thing, you know? Again, not it's not super big. It's not as big as the one we're going to transition into. Right. They, they did some stuff. Now, who really put the thing down was the Xbox Game show pay, Showcase. Oh, that thing boy. was a banger, arguably one of Xbox's best presentation um I want to say at least since the Xbox One era. So we're talking 10 years, basically, you know, right. um, banger after banger. So we can we will kind of go through the games, but I'm interested to, again, get your get your inkling of like what you're most excited for on all the games that were announced or re- either updated or revealed in that showcase. So I I have three big ones. Okay. So one of them is, of course, Gears of War E Day. Mm-hmm. Like it's like it. it's finally, finally happening. We finally they, get it, Gears. Game. It's like, how long were they listening to us? They never told us, you know, because I didn't. I haven't looked in to see how long this game's in been in development, but like, right. it's been a long time, you know. Yeah, we've heard and, about just real quick the the, yeah, yeah, the gear games, which are developed by the coalition. Coalition, I believe, we've heard inklings like the coalition has been helping other studios with their development as far as developing the games for the Xbox platform. I think they were in there trying to help a little bit with um with uh um Arcane with them trying to work on getting Redfall. We don't know what ended up happening, but it. it it it, yeah. it could have been worse. That is the that is the most <laughs> that is that is the most dangerous. That's a positive thing. way to look at it. It's it could have been worse, but they were trying to help them with that. I think I heard some rumors that they were um trying to help. They were helping play playground games with uh Fable development a little bit. So they've been kind of in and out here. They've been the A team. It looks like for a little bit. I'm not sure if they've been helping with some other productions on some other uh, Bethesda studios, but um. Yeah, like you were saying, Gears of War E Day, it's revealed. We're, we're getting, we're finally getting another Gears of War game. Finally. Yeah, and, and uh, I didn't play the last few, mm-hmm. but I played, I played a lot of Gears of War two and some of three. Yeah, so I'm excited for this. And another one is Mitch Tape. Yeah, now it's it's from the same creators. If people don't know, from the Artful Escape, which I talked about long time ago mm-hmm. and that game was absolutely amazing yeah and this game also kind of focuses around music mm-hmm. and at the very end of the trailer it shows you some of the artists that are in it so it's like real music this time mm-hmm. you know and yeah. i i think that's really cool and the the graphics aren't the same but they're still very older school kind of uh it looks like it's uh low frame rate kind of and still cartoony. Yeah. So I think that's very great. And the third one is South of Midnight. South of Midnight. So that one that one's like um the lore of like southern uh states and stuff like that, you know, south mm-hmm. 
of Midnight, and I saw a trailer for this actually quite a while ago. It was actually my partner yeah. that showed me, and I was like, this looks really cool. Mm -hmm. So to see a trailer be put out on a showcase, like, hey, this is coming soon. Like, it's finally. And yeah. I can't wait to play that. Yeah, I think they did a reveal trailer of it at their last showcase or something like that. Um, but yeah, it has like the the bluesy type of like yep. feel and mood to it. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, man, if I had to pick the ones that I'm hyped for, well, obviously Gears of War E Day is one of them. It's been so long since a Gears game, and mm -hmm. they're just they're they're great. I'm I'm interested to see how they how they evolve or like you know go further on that third person kind of cover and shoot gameplay, right? Um, right. Because in the interim of that, a whole bunch of games have come out. Uh, you know, I think of like the division comes to mind as like a, a game series that's kind of taken that and tried to expand on it. So I'm interested to see how they do that. Um, but yeah, Gears of War E Day. Um the other game that I mentioned, I mean, there were so many. The other game that I'm really interested in, um, obviously they, they did another trailer for Fable. That mm -hmm. seems to be that hit a little better for me than the first one. Uh, I'm, I'm really right. interested to see how they they do with that. Um, they did a another trailer for the Indiana Jones game. Mm -hmm. It's being developed mm -hmm. by Machine Games. Um, that looks like it's going to be epic. The, it, full Indiana Jones mood and feeling and vibe. It looks like it's going to be fantastic. Um, I hope so. Because yeah. you, know, you see so many of these games come out that are just based off of a franchise and you can tell they just did it for the money grab yeah 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 and then um they showed they showed even more um on the story of avowed which i've called elder scrolls 5.5 right and so mm -hmm. we get the elder scrolls 6 looking forward to that um so they they showed that but they even they had even more even more in the showcase, and this is why it's so great. <laughs> so we can we can talk about some of the other things that they've had um, they've had in the Xbox Game Showcase. So some things weren't, I guess, Xbox specific. We can talk about. So, um, uh, for instance, they they did a trailer gameplay for uh, or a gameplay trailer for the new Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed Shadows game that's coming out. Yep. Um, so you got to look at that. Um, but I mean, yeah, like you mentioned, South of Midnight, it, it, there's, you know, I, I actually missed, I actually might have missed the game I'm the most hyped for. Really? And How'd you do that one? Maybe, perhaps, but there's so many of them. That's what I'm saying. That is a good point. It's a good we reason. got a We got a reveal trailer for State of Decay 3. Yeah, we did. We, I'm telling you, people... It's going to be it's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. State of the K two is such a great overlooked game, um, and I, I can't wait to see what State of the K three uh, is going to look like. But David, I don't know if you want to talk about this one. They also did a trailer first look for a game they're bringing back that we have said many a times of the previous versions of it. We don't like it. We think that yeah. it's overrated. Perfect dark. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, I'm I'm both. I'm surprised but not surprised because that game was popular back then. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they did do a remaster or whatever of GoldenEye, so why not this one too? Right. We'll right. see how well it does. Now, is there um is there another big game that was released that we haven't mentioned yet? Um, well, I'm I'm surprised that there's DLC for Fallout 76. Oh, yeah. So Fallout 76, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Fallout 76 has had a boom. I mean, it is freaking going gangbusters because really? everyone watched the Fallout show on Amazon. Right. I so knew the games were blowing up because of it, yeah, but I didn't think yeah. it would be 76. Yeah, because 76 is, is the MMO one. Isn't That's, that the one we tried to play together and it wouldn't even work? It didn't work. At one point, it didn't work, and now it is. It is arguably one of Bethesda's best games going. They've they've had. Uh, it's weird, man. Between between that, a little bit of a resurgence with Starfield, a resurgence with seventy six. People even picking up some Starfield. I mean, some uh, Fallout Four and stuff. 
Bethesda, that that show was the best investment that Bethesda ever made. And I'm not even sure if they invested anything. They might have just licensed the IP to make the show. But right. It's, it's boomed. And yeah, they've got more and, DLC coming out for 76. I just want to mention, hint, hint, Resident Evil. See what happens when you do stuff right? See? You see what happens? Yeah. If, if you're a game, people go and play your game. I, I've been seeing a lot of rumors of another Resident Evil movie series coming out with Jovovich again. Oh, no. I mean, it's here's like, a, here's a, here's a question because I only watched the first one mm-hmm. before I said no more. Is she actually bad in the movies? She's not. What? Well, what do you mean bad? As like bad acting? Yes. No, I think she acts very well. I like her in a lot of the movies that she's in. Okay. But what's what's bad about it is. They took Resident Evil and put somebody that's not even in the games and then was like, hey, we're going to introduce people that are in the games and make it look like she belongs there. And, you know, it, mm. they like Nemesis, you know, he was in the third game. They put him in the second movie and, mm. you know, stuff like that. And Leon was in the f- fifth movie or something like that, at, you know, with Barry and Barry's in the first game. He's in the second game. They never meet. Mm-hmm. You know, so like while I do enjoy the movies for what they are, yeah, same as the Netflix series that they put out, I enjoy it for what it is. It's it's not what you know The Last of Us did for the series. Sure, they they added right. some stuff you know mm-hmm. that they didn't mention in the games too much, or they got rid of stuff that just didn't really seem like it would fit for the show, and that's that's understandable and fine. Mm-hmm. But what the Resident Evil is doing is just god awful. Yeah, it's not doing itself any favors. Sorry to off track a little bit there. No, you're good. I'm 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 waiting for the day that they um, recast uh, Claire. Um, <laughs> they'll recast Claire as a black guy named Cletus, right. and that's that's when they'll completely hit rock bottom. That's funny. That's that's the only one I think that was given the role actually decent. Like the person who played Claire, Claire in the movies was like, mm-hmm. that was a good cast. Yeah. For the people they tried to put in the movie from the games. Yeah. Well, there was um for the Microsoft game showcase. There's one game that we didn't mention. That's pretty big. Mm-hmm. And that from what I'm reading here is going to actually be multi plat Uh, And that is Doom. Doom, the Dark Ages, Mm -hmm. uh, had their trailer come out. And it's apparently going to be on PlayStation 5, um, not just Xbox. So there you go there. I know that, again, Xbox is doing a little bit more of putting some games on other platforms because, of course, they've screwed up their platform marketing and recognition (laughs) and market share so much. I'm trying to – this is good. I'm trying to do a good vibe thing, but part of that is because – if Xbox was selling even, it was even in second place or much closer to PlayStation, I don't think they would be taking this tactic, but they aren't, so they are. Right. Um, but yeah, the the next Doom uh, is coming up. Uh, we've mentioned before, at least I've mentioned that, Doom 2016 and then uh, the, the other Doom that came after, I can't remember if it was called Doom revelations or i can't remember what it was called you know they give these games stupid names I, yeah but, uh, but, <laughs> but anyway those those games are great fast-paced arena shooters mm-hmm. those games are great so i have absolutely no doubt that uh id software who was under bethesda's umbrella um is going to bring the marine back and it's going to be freaking killing it with doom uh that looks like it's going to be awesome um, i think so too because yeah i've never been a fan of the doom series like i played the original mm-hmm you know, but I mean, even the original, it that did well, and I don't think yeah. a Doom game has done poorly. I don't it, think it has so. it has such a good, you know, I guess I could say cult following. Yeah. You know, it, people just suck it up and they they love it. Yeah, I remember the first little Doom Doom twenty sixteen getting so much flack. They had that uh, I can't I think her name was like Anita Sarkeesian or something. I don't know. But they got they got so much flack for like oh this game is so violent, 
you know, it's, it's so violent. And it's like, oh, well, most games are. It's a weird fascination. With, with Doom has always been a violent game. I'm not sure if you saw the older ones, maybe because they were so pixelated, it didn't really seem like it. But you were killing demons in that one. You're killing demons in this one. Right. It's, it's just, except in this one, you can actually rip their rib cage open and pull out their heart. I understand it's a little bit more graphic, but still. Um, but yeah, that was announced. And then, of course, another game that I'm hyped about that no one cares about. They showed more of Microsoft Flight Simulator. No one cares. <laughs> uh, but I have actually really, really hyped up for the Microsoft flight simulator and all the different scenarios and stuff they're going to be adding with like with like hella like hella medic and stuff like that and mm-hmm. um yeah it's but uh they showed some more of that um but yeah and i'm pretty sure there, there might be one or two things we're missing in regards to uh, are you are you hyped at all about the metal gear metal gear it's the I, three one it's the third one right you like that one right well i've always been i i i love metal gear solid two sons of liberty Got it. I was thinking um, the wrong one then. I've I've played. I might have played three. I didn't get into it as much as I probably maybe should have when I when I think back on it. But um, I mean it's cool. I'll check it out. It's a Metal Gear game, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, for a while I was pretty hyped for the Phantom Pain, and then just never got into it because the release and stuff got weird with Konami and Kojima and all that stuff. But um, yeah, that's cool. And they also they also did just some other things. They also did a uh, they put up the trailer for Dragon Age: The Veil Guard, which I can't remember if that went out before the the showcase or not. But they did that from Bioware, the brand new Dragon Age game that is coming. Maybe I really, one. really enjoy the, the Dragon Age one? ones. Uh, the last one was Dragon Age Inquisition. Was that 360? That was. I feel like that was early Xbox One, PlayStation Four. Got it. Like maybe within the first couple of years. Because I, um, I have like three or four of them on the 360. They're not even mine. My friend brought them over to for me to play them and then never got them back. I never yeah. played them. So I thought that would be the last one. But yeah, I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Age, I've played all of them. I almost beat, or maybe did beat Inquisition. I've played a, a good bit of, of two and three. I mean, not two and three, but one and two. Inquisition was the third one. This would be the fourth one. Um, so, yeah, I love the series. Definitely looking forward to this coming out. Uh, looks like, um, yeah, looks like it, it, it should be getting some multi-plat releases, but right now they have it listed as just for Xbox for right now. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, there's so much. I mean, so ugh, much. another Call of Duty. Woohoo. Yeah. But. It just it makes me feel old. Black really? Ops Six, mm-hmm. really? Like I remember standing in line for the midnight release of Black, Black Ops, Ops One. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. It, that just hurts the soul a little bit. Getting up there, getting up there. Yeah, it shows, man. Yeah, I think I um the I, I can't I think it's Black Ops Cold War. Was it the last Black Ops that came out? I'm not too sure. I I've lost the names of all these Call of Duty. I think that the last one been, I played was like Ghost. I think that might have been the last one that came out was Black Ops Cold War. Because believe it or not, I've actually been playing the more the Call of Duties more recently. I've actually been playing them partially because Battlefield said F single player campaigns, and Call of Duty says that well, we're gonna half F them. We're just gonna make them four hours long. And <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm in for four hours, right? Um, but yeah, I think that that one was like like Cold War, so it was like Russian. They had like some kind of, you know, Call of Duty has those stealth missions every once in a while where it's like walk this way and do this and do that. Yeah, it was at that mission where I said, okay, I'm done. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't. That's nonsense. I don't do that anymore. Um, but yes, the Call a uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Six. There you go. It's, no. they'll, they'll eventually rename it. They'll they'll reboot it yeah. and then it'll you know go back to the Black Ops. A, a little uh, David history. So I got home from the midnight release and I played the game pretty much nonstop. Like I did sleep at one point because you know midnight mm-hmm. and I prestiged before midnight the next day. Yeah, that's how much I played that game the first day. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever prestiged. Um, yeah, I, I had a problem. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what's the like max ranks I've actually got up to. If there's been any multiplayer shooter that I've ranked up to a lot, it would have probably been. I mentioned before. I think it was Battlefield Bad Company Two was the one I played mm-hmm. the most. But but yeah, besides that, I'm I'm not you know. I played a lot of. I mean, it's not a lot of ranks, but if I think about a multiplayer game or an online game, I played a lot of. At one point, I think it was early to, early in the podcast. I was super into Warframe, heavy, heavy, heavy into Warframe at one point. And yeah, I remember us playing that. Yeah, I think I might have leveled up in that quite a bit, but I was like really into it, like a day, like like an unhealthy amount. Um, <laughs> and the game, the game, that game is intently made to be grindy. Mm-hmm. So I was full on caught in the grind, but you know what? Never gave those suckers a cent of my money. So who's a loser right. now, huh? <laughs> you know, uh, I was uh, scrolling through some of the games that we didn't mention to see what mm-hmm. they were and stuff, and this Frag Punk caught my attention. Frag Punk. It's a it's a competitive uh, FPS, and it's a it's a hero shooter. It's five v five, and it says it's different because it has 70 cards to, so you have to fast paced combat plethora I always have problems saying that of synergies and counterplays so uh, it says you set the rules of engagement for every new round by activating power up cards so it definitely has a different twist than Overwatch and Marvel Rivals yeah they're, so they're, that what, looks interesting incorporating a little bit of deck building into here it sounds like that's that's what it seems like i'm yeah. not sure how these cards are gonna work but that's pretty cool yeah i like the the artwork for the trailer is pretty cool yeah the the guy on the uh the still looks incredible yeah 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 um yeah it looks awesome but um, even though I looked, I saw this one. This uh, for, for for I'm not sure we're looking at the same thing, but Flintlock: The Siege of Dawn, which is like it looks like this kind of like interesting um, Souls-like game made by the developers of Ashen. Ashen is is pretty good, and I'm trying to remember if the Ashen developers um, and they mentioned Ashen. I believe the Ashen developers are the same ones. Um, that also developed Sifu, I feel like. But I may be wrong on that. Uh, let's see, Ashen developers were A44. Uh, I may be wrong on that. That may actually be the case. But yeah, another Souls-like. Um, yes, developers are slow clapping, H2 Interactive. They may be different. But I do remember Ashen being held for having pretty interesting and complicated uh, or difficult combat, and it looks like they might be doing the same thing with this game. So, I mean, hey, that sounds like it'd be interesting, you know? Yeah, definitely. Again, I mean, it's just, oh, and then you know, a lot of a lot of great stuff here. They they had another trailer for Salker too. I think people are excited for just great stuff, man. Just a banger of a showcase. Most definitely. I I mean, and there's this mecha break. It's kind of like a Gundam fighter. Hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, that looks interesting. I don't know if uh, I'll pick it up, but, like, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, when was that coming out? 2025, looks like? Yeah. Xbox did their thing. and They definitely did. They came out guns blazing this time. And they, they needed to because they've been kind of slipping behind. The hope is that they are able to deliver on these. You just can't announce and show some things you've got to be able to deliver on these yeah. games, right? Mm-hmm. People talk about the thing, and I've I've contended. I th- I think it's very clear. People understand that. I firmly believe, and I think it's very evident that there is a bias generally in media that slants more PlayStation than it does Xbox in, in those conversations. But part of that is because um, PlayStation has earned that benefit of the doubt, and Xbox hasn't. Um, and Xbox really needs these to hit. They need gears to hit, right? Gears needs to be the the. It needs to be what it's what it's always been. And yeah, it needs to do phenomenal. Yeah, because as much as we talk about it, improving or whatever it is, Halo is still in limbo. Um, Mm -hmm. so gears needs to hit. These other franchises Mm -hmm. they have need to star star fall right. Starfield. 
star field it yeah it, i don't think it did as well as it should have it wasn't it wasn't what they wanted it to be i yeah. think it's done okay but it, it, exactly it, it, wasn't, it's it was okay. nowhere near where they wanted it to be there was conversations about at one point starfield possibly overtaking halo as being the defining franchise of the xbox and that's just not going to be the no, case not at all um so they they got a hit with these i feel like I am confident that Avowed will hit. I, I, I think Obsidian are experts. I think they're. I think they're. They know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that Gears will be fun. It's a matter of how fun. But I think Avowed is going to be a banger. I think the new Gears is going to be a banger. I think there is a possibility. There is a possibility that this Indiana and the Great Circle game could be a could be a goatee. It could mm-hmm. be. It has that potential. We're talking about machine games. These people did the freaking Wolfenstein games. Those games are immaculate. They're exceptional. All right. So like, there's right. some there's some some opportunities here. Um, but I'd be if all these games if they weren't masterpieces, but they all came out to be eight nines, like really good fun games. I think that sets Xbox up for for uh, a great position, especially if they continue to go multi. You know multi-plat on some of these because right. you know if you're it, you're getting the extra sales exactly and like if all these games stay above a, a a seven you know if it's seven better i i think they did what they needed to do yeah i i, I do believe that i want to believe that they've they've learned from Redfall. They've learned from Crackdown three. One would think that they learned from Crackdown three to a point where where Redfall wouldn't happen. But that was an act. You know, they acquired Arcane while they were making the game already. Right. Um, you want to believe that they've learned their lesson from those type of games that they won't be duds. The game that I am the most fearful of missing the mark is the new Fable. There's, I like I said, that new trailer was an improvement, but I still feel like there's something. There's just something about it. You just get that feeling. You're like, there's just something about this. This does not feel right. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that's not the case, but I think everything else is going to land nice. And um, I think Xbox is going to have a pretty decent, looks like a pretty decent 2025. Avowed is supposed to come out this year. So that would be excellent. Um, and again, Xbox, you know, landing wherever they landed with Hellblade 2. Um, Sanua Sagra and the surprise of Power World earlier this year. Right. I think people are maybe not thinking that. I think Xbox has landed a little bit better on their feet than maybe people perceive, but they still got a long way to go. And hopefully, they're going to get there. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Was there uh, any any other impressions or thoughts you had on the Nintendo or the Xbox um, I... presentations? I don't think so. I mean, I think they both hit what they needed to. You know, we know Nintendo has, you know, the family lovey games and, you know, the not so good looking kind of games. Yes. You know, it's all, you know, cartoonish and not high on the uh, quality of graphics. And Xbox did what they needed to do. They have a plethora of different kinds of games. Uh, old new old games new games i i think they did an all-around good job here i did i like what you said that they the each of these presentations did what they needed to do for xbox they needed a presentation that showed hey we've talked about trying to set this thing up where we put two or three big games a year like games you would actually care about and i think that this showcase show they have a lot coming out and i think when you ask me what what, what games do you actually care about Indie, the indie game, the Gears game, State of Decay 3, Avowed. Those are four games right there. And those aren't mm-hmm. all the ones I care about, but those are all the biggest ones. Those are the ones that I anticipate wanting to get. Right. Right? Um, the last big game that I was hyped about for PlayStation was Rise of Ronin. That didn't turn out too well. Um, and then before that, it might have been Forspoken. That didn't turn out too well. Sony's track record... <laughs> Isn't as isn't as pristine as it once was a couple of years ago, and it mm. feels like Microsoft has learned and they've kind of turned the corner on that. And as far as Nintendo, it's going to be weird. There's rumors that they're either either this year or early next year they're going to release a new console. It's always weird for companies when they're in the midst of releasing a new console. Um, right. 
So, you know, but I think they did what they had to do, which it's nothing's going to be, oh, my God, this is the greatest thing ever. But it's a matter of, OK, you're still putting out games. You still care about your right. aging, your aging device and platform and making sure there's <laughs> things for it. Right. I mean, that's that's all that's all you can really ask for, you know. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean, they, you know, essentially did the same thing. You know, they have a, a Zelda game coming out. They have two Metroid games coming out, you mm-hmm. know, uh, Ace Attorney. I know there's quite a following for those games. Yeah. You know, and they brought back the, the Luigi's Mansion, and there was some Nintendo Championship thing that brings back some old games, Nintendo mm-hmm. World Championship and NES Edition. You know, so they did the same day, the same thing. They have some newer games come out. They have some new games of old, uh, whatever the word is. I can't think of it right now. But uh, like yeah. you know, like I said, Zelda and Metroid stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I think both of them did well. Yeah, I feel like, I literally feel like that, because like you mentioned, they have a Legend of Zelda game. It's a Legend of Zelda game, but it's not a Legend of Zelda game, all right? Right. Because that Legend of Zelda game but, came out, what, earlier, like, last year, right? Like, uh, um, you know, the whatever it was, uh, Legend of Zelda and... Uh, uh, Breath of the Wild 2 or whatever? Yeah, essentially, right? Yeah. Like, that game just came out. You're going to have to wait a few more years before you get another one of those games. You got a Legend of Zelda game. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, that's coming out September of this year, I think. The Metroid Prime 4 trailer, I think, was put out there to just say, hey, we didn't forget about it. You're going to get it on the Switch, too. I, just, I, think, I think they were basically just saying, hey, we didn't forget. We didn't forget. You're going to need to get the new hardware in order to get this game, though. Um, I think that's really what it is because I anticipate within a year they'll come out with a new device, a new console. So Nintendo did what they had to do, they did what they could do. They're in a they're in a strange spot. Um, and Xbox did what they had to do, which was say we are here. Um, I know it's I know it's technically Pride Month. I don't think they said we're queer, but I think they're trying to get to get used to it. We're here, <laughs> blank. Get used to it, okay? Uh, and good good on them. You know, uh, right. that that they're actually trying to make a, a drive to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. Uh, with all that out the way, brings us to final thoughts. Where we can make a final thought about something that's either related or unrelated to this podcast episode. So, who would like to give a final thought first? I'll go first. Okay. And I have an interesting one. Okay. I don't know if it's entirely true. You might be able to all find right. this out. If this is the same, I'll tell you. If this is the, if this goes along the lines of the flower semen that you gave last time you were talking about, then I'm gonna I'm just gonna take your word for it. I can't correct you. I don't know where I stand. Well, this this one you might. Okay. Okay. So I saw this video earlier today that uh, in City Skylines Two, mm-hmm. it it's obviously you know based off you know like capitalism stuff like that, and yeah. they've had an AI project in there like just help create the cities make them like realistic and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and the when the people would build the houses and the prices would just shoot up astronomical and they wouldn't be able to afford them anymore yeah and so they'd have to you know get rid of their house and stuff Mm -hmm. and what they did was they got rid of like landlords in the game and now everybody can afford their houses yeah, part of like a like a rent fix mechanic. Yeah. They were doing something like yeah, like that. Now I I yeah that specific fix I'm unsure, but I know that was a problem because what would happen is that you would have your you know your home, you're building up your districts in different areas, and obviously some places are going to have higher land value and higher house value than other areas, but you would get these little like these little bubbles that go over these houses that have a dollar sign, and they're complaining like the rent's too high, the rent's too high. And you're like, what? The rent's too high. And a lot of times you would go to the check. Like you could click on the house and see who lives there. And it would be like, it would be like a, like a college student and a kindergartner. And they're like, the rent's too high. The rent's too high. It's like, what is a college student and a kindergartner doing living in a million dollar house? This doesn't make any sense, right? Like, like get out. Like, what do you mean? Of course it's too high. You know, like get out of there. So they, they, they did do that to fix, um, to fix how the the rent and the values are adjusted because that bug would happen all the time. Like you would literally build up to a point and you'd see your whole 
you know, as you're doing expansion, you see the whole older neighborhood, the older neighborhood, which technically should be the most affordable, which just have a bunch of dollar bubbles, can't afford, can't afford, and then it's vacant. And then a new, a new, a new family moves in, can't afford, can't afford, vacant. And it would just cycle and keep doing that. Um, so yeah, they had to, they had to fix that. There's been so many bugs and issues with that game that they've had to go through and fix. But the idea that they got rid of landlords and that somehow made everything affordable is actually pretty funny. I mean, but if you think, if, if you think about that, what does that say? What does that say about me then as the city planner? Like, what, like, what am I doing then? You know what I'm saying? If I'm like, you guys are, you guys are costing people way too much money, you know? Mm-hmm. And the the video that I watched, uh, the, the person who was uh, describing everything, and he was like, I find it very funny that a video game figured it out before real life figured it out. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I mean, for instance, you know, we live in Michigan. We live in a metropolitan area, right? I don't think there's any place in the, in the city skylines where you can spend money to add a statue of a butthole to your city and and that that money be successful but in sterling heights here in michigan they were able to do that so if you go and you're driving down hall road i think it is Mm -hmm. you'll see the golden butthole sterling heights someone is allowed to spend money on that they spent thousands of dollars on that uh you can't do that in city skylines but you can in real life so even the computer also got used to hey Shouldn't spend that much money on buttholes. Well, we haven't learned that in real life yet. Yeah, it might take another couple hundred years. Possibly. You know what I fear? Now that I'm, you're saying that, I actually feel like it's more likely that there will be more of those in the future. Then I actually <laughs> feel like I feel like the danger is that there's actually more people willing to spend money on that yep. in the future than now. You know. I mean, look what they did with that sign on ninety four. The Detroit sign? Yeah. Yeah. Where it'll be Hollywood. And they used stupid font. It it looks and it's it's, stupid, right? It is it like, is insane. They looked up an I an AI program chat, whatever picture, and they're like, Oh yeah, that looks good. Put it on there. It looks like they designed it on like an iMac from like the two thousands or like nineteen ninety seven. Like someone's just Someone's got that freaking, you know, though, you remember those like uh, multicolored iMacs? Someone's mm-hmm. got that, like that, that clear pink iMac. And they're just, oh, yeah, they're going to hit on this is fire. Look at this. Like, you remember the Hollywood <laughs> sign? Look at this one. And it's Even like, better. this looks, this looks Let's dumb. Go. Yeah. And they spent thousands of dollars on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good final thought, though. Um, thank you. Thank you. My final thought is, uh, what is my final thought? My final thought is that, um, yeah, I don't really have one. I guess my, I guess my final, my guess my final thought would be that again, uh, excited for the games that that Xbox showed. Um, and uh, I know that right now PlayStation yeah, is I having mean... a sale on some games. Mm-hmm. Um, Rise of Ronin. It's going from a seventy dollar game to a fifty dollar game. That's about thirty. That thirty dollars too much. That game will quickly descend to twenty and thirty dollars, and that's when I'll grab it. Um, I mean, I, I guess most games I think are maybe seventy now. I can't remember if they revealed the prices for those games coming out, but I'm assuming that they're right. probably going to be seventy dollar games. Probably. Yeah. So I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll we'll see. But uh, yeah, if I had to pick one that I'm looking forward to the most, it's Xbox. So mm-hmm. hopefully they hit. I'm not going to I reserve so. anything because I don't do that. But <laughs> I don't. Uh, but we'll see. And plus a lot of stuff, the great thing with a lot of those games, day one game pass. This is where it pays. This is where it pays. Yep. Day one game pass. Uh, but that is, that's my final thought, which brings us to the end of level 108 of the Lots of Players podcast. If you like what you heard, please follow the podcast on your preferred podcast service. We are on Apple and whatever Google uses, and we're on Spotify, and we're on Amazon. Um, also, we're on the socials, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, TikTok at ThoughtStopPlayers. Uh, we're on Twitter. We're technically on Twitter. I never go to Twitter, or which is now called X. So you can follow us there, but probably, I don't know. 
won't and see much. You won't see much. <laughs> um, and then obviously we're on YouTube where we upload video versions of the podcast. Um, also, if you want to support us, there's a couple of ways you can do it. One way is to uh, buy that merch. In the words of the Jake Paul, buy that merch. We have different things I have with me now. My water bottle, my water can. You can see I have the black guy, black guy, woman sticker. I also have our <laughs> David What Up sticker. You can get those there at the at the uh, at the store as well as T-shirts, hats, different stuff like that. Also, we have a Patreon. If you want to support us there? We have three tiers, three membership tiers: a two dollar, five dollar, and a seven dollar tier. Each offering little bits of goodies and exclusives. Um, things like uh, breakdowns and, and uh, let's plays. We got let's play series and different stuff like that. Um, so you have all that there. If you want to support us there. That is it for me. David, was there anything else you'd like to add? Please. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. And we will catch you on the next level. <laughs>